Oh, so my video is going to be relatively late due to the fact that I don't want to oversaturate the Dell channel with a lot of videos. Now, the E3 thing, I'm going to put everything together. This is Sony review. And after missing, I'm not reviewing anything but Sony. Not Microsoft, no Nintendo, no Bethesda, no EA, no Ubisoft, Ubisoft, none of that shit. It's just Sony. And that's exactly what I'm going to review in entirety. It was a whole lot of individual video that I wanted to actually touch on. But I'm like, you know what? How about I just give you the review in this, in the whole instead of you know instead of making individual video it'd be like like 40 videos on my channel i ain't gonna do that so um it should be like let's say it's like i don't know which animes i will make late as hell popping up on my channel it's gonna be something popping up late i don't know if i gonna be able to put every day up today it's just too many videos it's like literally 20 videos with that said um sony they did their thing. They showed up. They had a lot of games. I mean, the first one is God of War. I made an individual video about God of War, how how unique it looked, how amazing it looked, how interested I am to actually see God of, God of War in this this type of place. Now, it looked like a restaurant RPG a little bit with a last of an element. I mean, you see that this he looked like Kratos, but... Like, everybody, like, a lot of people look like, what is this? Elder Scroll meet The Last of Us? What the fuck? Personally, I like this shit. This shit look incredible. It's a new look for God of War. And this shit gonna be brutal as hell. Very brutal. And they're going to ride direction with that game. Not to mention, in Sonyac, they said that they're gonna have a, um, a damn place. They said, um, okay. I'm back on track. Okay, apparently it's all in that basically a, at least a new Spider-Man game exclusively for the PS4. The Spider-Man game looked like the best Spider-Man game that you probably would see back in the day. Spider-Man 2, that shit was incredible. Did look like a little step above it. So, it's exclusively for PS4. A lot of Xbox fans are mad about this. But Sony did own the right to uh, Spider-Man. I, I think they partnered with Marvel. I don't think they actually sold Spider-Man back to Marvel. But um, it is spring while it's only on PS4. So it should look incredible. I'm looking forward to actually seeing it. So hopefully Sony can do it justice. And the PlayStation VR coming out October 13th. It's going to cost $399. Now I don't know if I'm going to invest in that right now. I may wait. I may see what the hype is about. I might wait a couple of months before I even invest my money into it. I might probably pick it up the very next year. Who knows? But October is too close to Christmas, and when it comes to Christmas, due to me, due to myself being an adult, I usually buy a lot of stuff for other people. So I'm not buying me anything like that. So I don't think I don't get that. Probably might get around income tax with a PS4 deal that come on around that time with a 4K TV. But we still see. But they will be hard heavy. They was showing like a new Batman game VR. Not to mention Final Fantasy VR. Yes, Final Fantasy is going to be on VR. Resident Evil going to be on VR. And um, yeah, I can't even think of the other games. Okay. They'll have um, Farpoint and Star Wars um, Battlefront. But that Final Fantasy VR. They just threw this lap something together. It wasn't really actual gameplay of it. It just looked like regular Final Fantasy just looking at it. I don't know how they're going to integrate that. So hopefully they'll be able to make that look epic. Not to mention we'll get three Crash Bandicoots remasters. Now that is awesome. We're getting Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2, Crash Bandicoot 2, Crash Strike Back, and Crash Bandicoot War. Man. They doing their thing. I mean, the thing is, they bring out so many Crash Bandicoot, and not to mention, it'll be um, Crash himself gonna be on the PS4 version of Skylander. So they doing their damn thing with Crash Bandicoot. It's just so many games that were coming out, like Modern Warfare Remastered. They coming early to the PS4, and not to mention Hero Kojima new game. Now it's it's what Death Standing. And they got Norman Reedus in there from The Walking Dead, Daryl. 
and he's just walking around naked. It's like some type of religion type game, so I don't know exactly what they is today going to until they actually show anything about well show some gameplays about it because it's hard for a straight man to actually talk about a naked white guy walking around I, I can't I, I can't do it but it looked like normal readers a few girls were going fan girls talking about why they could make the camera go lower I'm like what the fuck you see they call us perverts the girls are perverts too and not to miss it Horizon Dawn Zero I made a video about that individually as well that shit look incredible. I'm looking forward to favorite to ask you playing that game. And um shit, I think I got damn near every game that I could think of. Yeah, besides that uh um, Days Gone game, which looked like The Last of Us. It really do look like The Last of Us. I was just looking at Days Gone like it looked interesting, but um that's a lot of fucking zombies running out of me. It's going to be a hard damn game to play. That shit look incredible as well, but still, it just look like The Last of Us. But other than that, just, just ran over. Oh, yeah, like Detroit being human. I forgot about that game. That shit, I'm looking forward to that right there. I'm from Detroit, so I can't wait to play a game with that name at the top of it. So, shit, I'm looking forward to it. It just look like heavy rain with robots. So, hey. I like David Cage games, so hopefully it'll be a unique experience like all the other games before. Shit, we saw Resident Evil 7, but we already know what my how I felt about looking at that bullshit. And, um, shit, I almost forgot The Last Guardian. That shit finally coming out, too. I made an individual video about that as well. Sony basically came out and hit you with a damn, a damn five hit combo with five exclusive plus other games that came along with it as well. Sony literally show you games while wow, Microsoft the end the damn thing with that new Xbox. I mean, okay, that's the future. But Sony literally hit a, hit a, hit everybody with motherfucking games and they came in hard. Like I said, I'm not gonna review Microsoft because I really don't give a fuck about Xbox. I ain't gonna lie to you. So um I'm looking forward to what they're gonna do with the person Neo. Some people say that that's the only thing that Sony messed up with. Maybe Sony was to send there to see what Microsoft going to do before they announce it. Now they got to, they got to actually make a PlayStation Slim with 4K output and then make the Neo be the same what the Scorpio is. That's the only way they can do it. They got to have three PlayStation 4s now. That's the only way. But anyway, tell me what you guys think. Make sure you have a rate, comment, and subscribe. And this is my E3 press conference review for the Sony PlayStation or Sony PlayStation 4 and their PS Vita. Did they even miss a fucking Vita game? Ugh, PlayStation Vita. I'm out of here. Peace.